When the president is always wrong, we're always right. Public Liberty Radio. We're liberals. And now, the show that allows everyone to vent their spleen. It's Pacemaker, the program that puts the heart back into the health industry. Here's your host, Ryan McFallon. It's David and Goliath, but we're all David when it comes to fighting the healthcare industry. And this time, it's not a rock, it's our nuts in a sling. For thousands of years, people have treated themselves when they got sick. The wisdom was handed down from family to family, mother to daughter, father to son, and sometimes while inebriated, father to daughter. But nobody talked about it. Now we have HMOs, co-pays, a thousand forms to fill out, gastric bypasses, doctors that charge $30,000 to pry open your love cave with a speculum. Today on the show, from Beta Pharmaceuticals, Public Relations Director, Sheila Stafford. Hi, Ryan. Great to be here. I brought you samples of some breakthrough new drugs. You look like you really need them. Okay, thanks. Uh, and representing the largest HMO in the nation, Copay Health System CEO, Wilson Taylor Sr. Ryan, it's a pleasure. Pleasure to be here to talk about taking the healthcare industry from a patient-centric and business-centric aggregated bell curve forward to the health model we're looking at in the 22nd century. All right. And finally, he's the founder of Homeopathic Center Down Home Medicine, author and self-healing guru, the Down Home Medicine man himself, Waylon Mason. What? Uh, Waylon, I'm just saying welcome to the show. Uh, I didn't know. I didn't know. Okay, uh, let's start with you, Mason. What's wrong with the healthcare industry? Uh, that's just it. You said it. It's an industry. Industry. A trillion dollars. A trillion rotten deals and broken promises. Broken promises made to you and dirty needles. For what? I teach people, you know? Stuff that, that, that only Indians and old people understand. Why are we sitting in a waiting room while some asshole, some limp ass nuts, plays golf, and makes a million dollars a year to scribble on little pieces of paper nobody can read. It's, it's, it, that's like they're writing secrets. It's a conspiracy. When we lived in the woods, my father taught me a lot about home medicine. After my mom died during childbirth, he let me burn the body. You can learn a lot from family. Let's get into the 21st century here. We really need to move beyond this negativity and hostility towards the pharmaceutical industry. We are leading robust, end-to-end, -end, sustainable solutions to healthcare challenges in a viable and yet 100% patient-centric, care-focused, and responsible manner. Life is full of very complex chemical challenges. Beta Pharmaceuticals is there every step of the way, much more so than a bunch of hillbillies fighting progress and home cremating their mother. Well, what kind of... What are you, that's like being a corporate slut. Well, you don't know you are where you are. Well, really, life is a challenge. And if you could swallow a magic pill every day and not worry about that challenge, wouldn't you? We all would. Some of us are. Take, for instance, our best-selling symptomatic postural tension reliever, Comanex. Life is stressful. Up the dose. And with increased dosage, people will see an inverse reduction in problems. It's science, really. Life is stressful, and the reason it's stressful is that the consumer is forced to pay pharmaceutical companies like yours exorbitant fees to cover these prescriptions and CEO bonuses. HMOs like mine are trying to save your life, and Little Miss Drug Company here sashays into the doctor's office, flashes her perky bazookas, and the next thing you know, the doctor is prescribing heavy sedatives for every splinter or rash. And who gets to pay for this? The insurance companies, which we are obliged to mark up and pay pass on to you in denied coverage claims. It breaks my heart. There's just, there's just too many pills, man. It's making our immune systems weak. My mom was a, was a, was a visionary and a, and a helper, you know, and she left me in dirty diapers all day. And now I have a super goddamn immune system. I can lick the floor under a truck stop urinal, and it don't affect me a bit. And sometimes I do, for cash or whatever. That's the problem. Let's stop blaming the HMOs because because you can't see a doctor. Don't blame Profits or Nixon because you've got bad coverage. Bottom line, don't blame me because you're a loser. Not my fault, buddy. And the last thing we need on Earth is socialized medicine. Jeesh. Can you imagine the chaos if everyone was able to see a doctor and didn't have to fill out reams of paperwork before they were denied a life-saving surgery because it cost money? It would be anarchy. 
There'd be lines for bread, and we'd all be speaking Russian or Cuban, and people would die. People are already dying because of paperwork and lack of coverage and their failure to understand the small print. <laughs> okay, Lenin, I understand. You want to live in a socialist utopia. Fair enough. Well, I don't. I want choices. I want access. I want buzzwords. I want dreams. I want the chance to look you in the eye and say, I've got it. You haven't. I bet you wish you paid more attention in school, you little shit. Then knee you in the nuts. That dream? That dream is America. And I tell you what, man, that's a dream hard-working people all over this country want. To see their lazy neighbors die because they didn't go to work and get a job and have health care. Time to remove the teat and say, dinner's over, baby. Go buy your own pair of tits. There's a great word, a German word, a powerful word, and that word is schadenfreude. And that word He's making up words to win an argument. No, that's hear me out here, word. hear me out, schadenfreude is steigen. The word is schadenfreude, and that word means, fuck you, loser, fuck you. It's the American dream. Yes, I want to cuddle. I want to cuddle your wife while you're going bankrupt, chump, and that means you, Lefty. Okay, okay, look, uh, this is getting out of hand. Can we get back on the topic, please? Oh, you can have my you. wife. I don't care. Thank you so much. I came here to talk about how our company, Beta Pharmaceuticals, has pioneered revolutions in pediatric care. It's a pill called Amphetorate that keeps kids quiet for hours. It's yellow. That means it makes you happy. Like in our animated commercials when frowns turn to smiles. It's also good if you ever feel self-conscious or awkward or awake. Oh, great, because I wanted to sleep till I finally died. Okay, but Mason, I, I thought you were all about homeopathic care. You know, natural solutions to people's problems. You really talk like that? Hey, you know what, man? Don't stress me out. I am the homeo and the pathic together. You need to take a daily examination. A really thorough inspection of your bowel movements. Get a fork, go through it, sift around, Ew. excavate. It's really fascinating. It's Nothing more fascinating. People come to me and they say, I don't feel so good. I tell them, well, save your eliminations for a week and bring them in a box. I can tell you what's wrong in a second. Now, this pharmaceutical lady is really nice with her little bubble tits and would make a fine receptacle for my DNA juice. <sighs> and that's the only reason people listen to her. But listen, you don't need a pill for everything and barely for anything. Okay, uh, Mason brings up a good point. Thank this you. brings us to the topic of pre-existing conditions. Should you be denied insurance if you have one? Absolutely! As an HMO, we want people to be healthy. Don't go to the doctor, don't get sick, pay your premiums on time, and everyone's happy. Why would we want to sign up sick people? If we were a sports team and we signed up sick players, people would be furious. Our company has some fantastic athletic enhancement compounds in the works. One will double both your RBIs and your girth. This blame the HMO's mentality isn't rational. If you're sick, why don't you harass someone who can do something about it, like God, instead of calling and harassing our call center workers? Health, Ryan. My wife and I have a six-bedroom villa on the ocean in the Caribbean that we bring other couples to for healthy adventures. It's really all about health. Some whales are into gay sex. Exactly. Look at how they swim. It, thank you. Life makes no sense when fish are gay. Back to pre-existing conditions. If your hip hurts, you should probably kill yourself. It's all over if you fall down and break a hip. Don't burden society or my bonus because you fell down. We mustn't become a nation of hypochondriacs. Just because you have insurance, why use it? Why should we pay just because we said we would? Because you said you would. What do you matter anyway? As a nation, we have to move forward. And we are obsessing about our health care system. I mean, come on! America fucking rules. We've got to conquer space and fight the war on terror. And you people are worrying about a stiff hip? Please die. Hey, did you know on the space station they have to drink their own piss? Goodness gracious. I, you know, I can't understand. Come on, what saying. is wrong with that? That's an interesting thing to say. I'm talking about interesting. All you people want to talk about is money and co-payments and stuff. And I, I just talked about swilling piss. Disgusting. Steaming piss. Well, what is wrong with you people, man? No wonder you get sick. So pen up. Y'all need a good enema or, you're, or you might explode. That's another thing we haven't talked about. Uh, Ryan, we ain't talked about it. Y euthanasia. Wh why are they all prostitutes? Wh why, 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 why is everyone staring at me?
I'm going to bring this back to topic. Uh, you know, speaking of foreign countries, we really need to step up the war on drugs in this country. Now, that's a good point. What do you mean by that? Well, I'm talking about these criminals, these geezer criminals who smuggle drugs over the border so people can get them at a cheap rate and not pay a fair market price that we control. Hard medication, my ass. Well, uh, Sheila, a, a lot of people can't afford your drugs through the conventional channels, and they're forced to buy them on the black market. Well, boo-hoo! Boo-hoo! <laughs> Save your money. Stop buying silly things like lottery tickets, pickup trucks, or food. We have pills that can save your life, and you're whining about the cost? It makes me want to throw up. People have to take responsibility. I mean, just the other day, this woman began to freak out in front of me and clutch her chest. So I did the responsible thing. I walked away. Yes, I work in the health industry. Yes, I had a purse full of life-saving heart drug samples, but I did not know if this woman had insurance. I did not know if she was going to sue me. So I did the responsible thing, and I left it to the professionals. Wow. Did you even call 911? I left that to the professionals as well. Well, uh, what happened to this poor woman? Well, she died. But she learned a very valuable lesson. First off, you wouldn't be having a heart attack in the street if you had gone to the doctor the day before and requested a prescription for a pill you saw on a TV commercial but don't know what it does. What it does is irrelevant. Ask your doctor for it. My mother, my mother had a great home remedy, home from the home, for heart problems. A few ordinary household items. You'll find them under the sink, mixed together, drink problems solved. No bureaucracy. It's like my dad. I remember him telling me, son... Diabetes is a lie. And he was in great shape because he hopped around on one leg a lot. Lemons to lemonade. Okay, I understand what you're saying. Now, but some people say, and when I say some people, I mean our producers. Some people say, why are HMOs making record profits while our economy is in recession? And why are the people paying more for health care than any other country? What do you want us to do? Go out of business? Listen, it's easy. Invest. Then when our share prices go up because of the, uh, listen to this bit, responsible way. Yes, responsible way we have run our business, including sensible maintaining of lots of friends on Capitol Hill. You'll see the upside. And you want to complain because we're doing so well? What's your problem? You're still alive to moan and groan about how horrible our health care is. Exactly. Pharmaceutical company profits aren't the problem. They're the solution. We need that money to fly doctors to golf retreats in the Caribbean. Oh, man. We are literally saving communities out there. In the old days, it was all about fishing and smoking pot. But now it's all about golf courses and uh, other cultural things like that. <laughs> All because of the money that has moved into health care. Do you know how much a lab monkey costs? And you end up stoning them to the tits on exciting new breakthroughs in medical science so much that they drop like flies left and right from the sheer joy. Progress ain't cheap, and you worry about costs? Leeches cure erectile dysfunction. I, I, I use them all the time. Okay, another good point by Mr. Mason, but let's get Thank to you. our next topic. Uh, should we go natural in our health care? Definitely. And we're happy to cover everything as long as you reach your $10,000 deductible. Isn't that great? We cover all the expenses after you've spent $10,000. We are saving you money. <coughs> Sorry. <coughs> I guess your pills ain't working, lady. Well, you know, uh, let me tell you, the fact is, and it's a fact, drugs are killing us, man. You people are heading towards the dark ages. Up until the 1950s, this country was sick, diseased with worry. We helped usher in change with drugs perfect for an America coping with anxiety due to the civil rights movement. You guys want to take us back to home medicine? Please. You will kill people with your nonsense. The fact is, the only thing that makes people better is drugs. Not hokum pokum, not shitting in a bag and sleeping with my dad. Narcotics are what matters. Drugs. They work. <laughs> Trust me. I've been on them for years. What works? Drugs are hokum pokum. Yeah, that's hokum pokum. I'm telling you the truth. No one knows what officially is hokum pokum. And that's a fact. What works is a fully integrated spreadsheet pyramid with diagnostics at the center and patient recovery being at the top, which it always is with us here at Copay Insurance. What matters is holistics and getting well from psilocybin colonics. Does he have like a like a translator or something? Because I understand every fifth word he's saying. He's talking about holistics. Oh. Holistics, man. Drilling holes. It's an ancient form of medicine. If you had a headache, people run over to 
idea and start drilling a hole in your head. If you had a heartburn, they drill a hole in your heart. If you practice witchcraft, they drown you or burn you just to check. It worked for centuries. He's talking more your to rabbit, himself. Rap, parrot, rabbit, talk about, oh, I want to make this much this year off a person who can't oh, breathe right. God. Oh, I want to make that much off this doctor who, 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 who is ignoring the world. Okay, thank you, man. Playing golf. You are giving me a headache. Good. I can cure that. Come here. Yeah, what are you doing, Mr. Mason? Come here, come here, come here. No, get the fuck oh, away from hey. me, no, no, no. smelly creep. No, this won't hurt a bit. My dad showed me. Come here, come here. Ow. Okay, come on, Mr. Mason. No, the drill bit's clean, Let's damn it. Let's put down the drill. Let's think about Reiki or something. What the hell are you talking about? Please stop. Huh? Oh, you calm the fuck down or the pitch bitch gets it. Please, That's enough, I'm Mr. Mason. I'm a good Mason. person. You ain't no Look. good person. You ain't even a person, man. I've got some free samples. Yeah, that's all you are is a vending machine of samples. Just don't trepanate me, please. I I'll pay you. Man, you, you think I want your goddamn blood money? I'm going to free mankind of drugs that cost money. No. Or that you can't grow or find on shit. No. Okay. No, okay, listen no, to what no, I'm calm saying. Calm down. It's I think you. you've had enough. It's, it's you're the insurance guy. One of you gets drilled, I ain't taking no for an answer. Please leave me out of this. She's the one with the headache. I respect alternative therapies. They give false hope. Are you kidding? I'm going to drill the smugness right out of your That's third good. eye. Hey, Impossible. Drill him. He's, he's let yeah. kids die. He refused a little girl a liver transplant. Nah. Oh. Oh, all right, you're she the one. Was you're too the risky one. to save. Nonsense. She was too risky to save. Risky for third quarter too earnings. Too risky to save. Drill yeah. her. She kept AIDS drugs out of the hands of poor people no, so I'm that her CEO you. could buy a plane. No, that's uh, a lie. Drill you. Oh, that's no, a lie. You. It was a boat, not a plane. It's a planes, boat. boats, corporations, no, drill him. guys. I'm drilling you so the stark smoke comes floating out of your skull uh. and the demons that have been controlling your life comes out of your skull. You think I'm messing around? You're not, I, I know you're not messing around. I tell you what, Mr. May. And just drill them both, please. Be, but just hurry up, because that's about all the time we have for folks this week on the pacemaker. No drill. No. no. Oh, hey, that's enough. Whoa. That's oh, that's a geyser. A geyser of blood. Yeah, geyser. More blood. Fighting the use of torture by bringing it to the airwaves and complaining about it to our friends. This is Public Liberty Radio.